I think what we're most dedicated to is that you use your mind and that you use your mind well. Yeah. And that's that's really been something that I think we feel so strongly about. The other thing I think we pay attention to is the idea that the habits of mind don't have an don't have an explicit ethical component. Mm -hmm. In other words, we say that it can serve as your moral compass because it is really the compass that is driving your thinking and therefore your actions. But it doesn't mean that you think ethically. And so it may be that as we consider all of this, that may be something else that somebody will explore. Because we've always stayed as a, a secular group, we've always kind of avoided taking any kind of a position that would um, make it seem as if this is something that um, you know that, that we're that we're promoting. But we are promoting thinking. We're promoting the disposition for good and effective thinking with the hope that that leads you to your social commitment and your moral commitment and your um, thoughtfulness about everything you do. I, I think that's a very good point uh, because you can apply the habits of mind to some of the dictators of the world. Hitler was very persistent. Hitler was clear in his communications. That's not all of it. There is an ethical component that we don't talk about. However, it's more likely that you will act in ethical ways if you adopt the habits of mind. 